I want to tell you Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and they didn't, they actually turned Pluto into not a planet. However, I do believe that it's still a planet. And it's important because what it does is it connects you to the next generation. And I'm tired of sticking up for you and your nasty, nonsensical nonsensical conversations around trying to stop people's brains from working by de deterring people from wanting to be educated in school. And that's what they're all trying to do because they want to educate you. They want to emotionally educate you and then Google you and Alexa you and chat GTP you to just having you ask the chat GTP information that they've purposely placed to create a narrative versus actual history or actual science or actual abilities to think. So imagine if you're a child and no one taught you how to tie your shoes. And imagine what that would be like when you're 45 and you're using Velcro shoes. And it on, they only sell Velcro shoes now. And now you're an influencer who's showing people how to tie shoes at 45 years old. But nobody's interested because they're too busy putting on hair and makeup. But that's as shallow and as low as you can get. However, the market's not, the market's not really asking for that. Shu Chu is the market determiner. He's the one who owns the app. And the elite out of New York City and Hollywood are the ones telling you that hair and makeup is a priority over tying shoes. Their emotional instability is more important versus a child learning how to tie their shoe. Oh, you don't need that. That's your sign that you're not an interesting person because now you're just going to talk about your feelings all the time. Imagine you didn't have any education around the history or an experience of going on a vacation, an actual vacation. And so all you did was sit around and mope and complain that this caviar isn't from Beluga or whatever. This isn't from Beluga. This isn't clean. Well, do you know who Martin Luther King is? No. I don't really care about that shit. Alexa, who's Martin Luther King? So, my feelings and, and are very sensitive when it comes to beluga caviar, which is baby eggs. And I'm really disappointed and I'm really upset. And then they spew that energy all over the place. Well, they then go onto their platform, show white backgrounds of towels white towels and white this and white that and cream colored this and black and white dead airspace so they can bring in Qatar and create a sickness in America that used to be full of color and life to make all of our lives dead while they tell us not to get an education, which is how America became American. However, they told us that we didn't want to and they continuously told us that money and hot girls and hot cars and fancy outfits and galas was more important than getting an education. And they're old as shit. So they might not see the importance and your teacher probably doesn't even see the importance at this point because we've been so brainwashed by these people on influencer platform by the Democratic Party as we saw Kamala Harris signed excuse notes. That's the process of life. The process of life is going to school and getting an education and to learn your own skills, not what Gary Vee, not what Chase Jarvis, not what any of these people are telling you that their version of emotions are. No, you're supposed to go to school so you can raise your hand in third grade and get laughed at because that's your child that's the abuser. And then you learn how to handle your own emotions. And your parents assist you along the way. And your teachers just educate you on education. Not on emotions and not on their opinions about SEX in kindergarten. Because that's what a T-R-A-N-S is. And that's everything that Kamala Harris and all of these weird ass people are trying to create. While everyone battles in Walmart versus being customer service. 
so that Mona Van can brag and not brag about how elite her life is, while Gary Vee says, my life is elite too. Wow, that's really interesting to educate us on clean air and clean eat and clean this and clean that. What a shitty ass life. It's like watching puppets. I'm a, I'm going to go look at script a script for ChatGPT how we're going to talk back and forth on a podcast and you as audience are going to feel really weird inside. But that's because you're working with AI and ChatGTP, where well, they're trying to tell you how to feel versus you feeling for yourself, while they then create everything they want to create, including the Sandy Hook, including the dude who was the last guy at the last school in Georgia. And that's all on the backs of the Democrats and the techies, and the computer gamers, while well, nobody takes real responsibility and then uses political powers to fuel agendas to, to fuel you when you've lost sight of humanity to eat clean. So that Mona Van can wear a fancy outfit. And then you could say, I don't feel so good inside. Well, I wonder why, because you're faking doctorhood. And then, then sometimes you'll step in and out of alien land, and then you'll come back to reality, and then you'll still sit there on your little fucking platform, and then act like you're the fucking hero, and that you're up to the real shit, when the reality is, I'm up to the real shit. You're the Democrat working with the Democrats? Well, you tell me how nice you are, and you try to uplift. You are somebody now. You are somebody now. And that's the real reality of what we're dealing with is a bunch of selfish, selfish, low class people with no education on anything, making their emotions as topics and then adding words like fear without actually talking in human terms by pulling up a chat GTP script to empty out humanity to tell you how to feel while showing off diamonds, pearls, and rubies and saying, I want, I want more, more, more product. Where all of them then say climate change. And it's really getting old and, and wearing, like I'm not, not even worn out by it. I'm just like not interested. Not interested, not interested because the fuel is your anxiety attached to their showing off. Your paper chasing and carrot chasing is the attention, whether it's positive or negative, of what they're longing for in their loins. So the men, they like to show off their provocativeness of, ooh, diamond, <laughs> for the ladies. Makeup. Vagina rub. Look at me and my uh, organized crime group as I hoard order a horror of a organizer to organize the clean eat restaurant known as my apartment. Take a look at how rich I am. Now let's collaborate. The deadness of what Gary Vee's content has become. The deadness of V-Friends, the deadness of the Democrat Party, of what the Middle East of Qatar is, while well, he says absolutely nothing. <laughs> and he calls her his fiance on a regular basis. Well, that's really showing yourself, ladies. Because you can't sustain your own energy. You always have to go to a man to fuel the education because you have no brain. Not to mention you're fearful of what people would think if you actually said something that made somebody upset. So you all just cookie cutter your conversations to all agree on the same page while teaching and delivering on no fucking substance while the world falls apart. But look at how glory you are in your self-esteem of nothingness. Full of pain and angst until you post a piece of content where you get more pain and angst. Until you show off how pretty you are and then you get that reaction you longed for, which is anger and hate, to fuel your next piece of content. Wow, what a life. <laughs>